hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel please kindly subscribe i really appreciate it so on today's video i will be showing you how i dropped a pattern for a princess or a sweetheart neckline to draft the pattern i will be using my pattern master tape measure a pencil and an armhole or a curved ruler i will start by squaring my horizontal and vertical guidelines and marking the point as zero From the point zero, I will go up 8 cm for the neck, then 12 cm which is my shoulder length and label the points as 1 and 2 respectively. From the zero point, I will go down by 40 cm which is my back length and I will spread this line across. Again from the zero point I will go down 20 cm which is half of my back length and I will also square this line across. I will go ahead and label my lines as WL for waistline and BL for bust line. I am going down from zero by 4 cm and that will be my neck depth for the front and I will use my pattern master to draw the curve. I am also drawing my shoulder slant by going down 3 cm and joining the point with the 8 cm plus 12 cm from my shoulder length. I measured my nipple to nipple measurement and divided it by 2 which gave me 11 cm so that is what I am marking right now at the waistline and the bust line and I will square the line upwards. From the bust line I went down 2 cm so the dot doesn't go straight to the bust point. From the shoulder line, I am marking downwards my shoulder to under bust measurement and squaring the line. At the waistline and the under bust line, I am marking 2.5 cm on both sides of the line to create my dot. I am drawing curves from the 2 cm point under the bust to the dot legs that I just made. From the front of my neckline, I am going down by 10 cm which will give me the height I desire for my sweetheart neckline and I will square the line like so. From where the neckline meets the dot line, I will go out by 3 cm on both sides and this is to ensure that the top of my neckline holds my bust nicely than to leave some gaps between me and my top. I went ahead and drew curves from the neckline to the 2 cm under the bust point. So now I am marking my waist circumference divided by 4 and the bust circumference divided by 4 and replacing the 5 cm dot at the waistline. From the front of the neck, I am going down by 15 cm, which is how deep I want the neckline to be at the front. And I will use my curve ruler to draw a curve on center front and on side front, then darken the lines to complete the front. I also smoothen the edges at the dot under the bust and label my pieces side front and center front and showed how I am supposed to cut them. I also wrote some reminders on the patterns for when I am using these patterns and I will go ahead and cut these patterns out.
So the purpose of me drafting the upper part which could be a yoke was to determine how deep I want the princess neckline to be because it would have been hard for me to determine that without drafting that upper part. Now I'll start drafting the back pattern which is very simple and quick so I started by transferring just to my waistline and blast line to a first pattern paper and squaring those lines across. I marked my waist circumference divided by 4 and also my bust span which is my nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2 on the waistline and on the chest line I marked my bust circumference divided by 4 and also my bust span and joined those lines together. For my back dart, I took out 2 cm on both sides of the dart line and joined those points to the bust span on the chest line. And after that, I replaced the 4 cm dart and joined the point to the bust measurement on the chest line to complete my back pattern. Now that I'm done drafting my back pattern, I will go ahead and cut it out and slash through the middle of the dart and tape it down to close it as you can see me doing. By the way, the back pattern should not be cut on fold. I made a mistake by showing that it should be cut on fold, but I will rectify that when I use this pattern. So these are all my patterns all done. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you would like to see what I made using this pattern, then turn on post notifications so you get notified when I post a video next week. I try to post once every week, but I couldn't post for a while, but I'm back now and I will be posting every week. And please show my channel some love by subscribing to my channel, commenting and liking my videos. And thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you on my video next week. Thank you.